Hello YouTube! My name is Lobster Buff, and your name is Audience Member. I'm back with the Sea Will Claim Everything. Now last week, I know you didn't get an episode of this, and I am sorry. But to make up for it, this week, I'm going to be playing for an hour straight through, and just posting 15 minute blocks every, uh, every other day, I think. So let's get right into it. I'll start my timer, and I'll load nipple. And here we are, at the door. So what is behind the door? Outside, what? We're outside. Thorny, resilient plants. And a rock. And a tower. A lighthouse. <laughs> this flower likes to watch the ships go by. I, c I don't blame it. Uh, another door. No, that's the other door before. Let's go around the beach to a tree. Despite the inhospitable surroundings, the tree is still clinging to life. <laughs> it's got a good spot. It does have a good spot. So wait, we, we've, we've, we've left. So this is Underhome. We're going this way. But... We didn't want to leave yet, did we? Wow, okay. See, I feel kind of bad for making you guys wait two weeks and then just not doing it, but I kind of want to finish Underhome. Maybe we can't, though. <clears throat> oh, damn, even goats avoid them. You know it's hard to eat when that's true. Let's see. Mushrooms. Decisions. Let's go to the lighthouse. A door. Um, it's supposed to be a mailbox, but it's been. <laughs> oh, they've got furniture. That's odd. That, that's weird. That's a strange thing. Ring the doorbell. But nothing happens, and the door won't open. A pole cat. This is strange. Oh, what the fuck? Yes, it is, I suppose, Jack. I am Jack the Octopirate, traveler of the many seas, scourge of the galleon, eater of the near unbroken muscle. Mussel. Or so I was called in my youth. Now I run this here lighthouse and spend my days telling tales and watching the waves. Cool. Tell me about the lighthouse. A lighthouse is a boon to any captain, and a port without a lighthouse is no port at all. Port Dara has maintained a lighthouse for as long as I can remember, but now there are rumors that it's to be shut down as an unnecessary expense. Can you believe that? I'm not too worried, though. Let them come. There's yet some strength in these arms of mine. Well, tentacles, perhaps. Don't have anything to say, though? You're not going to let me in, perhaps? Doorbell, doorbell. Nope. Well then, let's go the other way. Um, new location added to the map. Port Dara. Let's talk to Mr. Pig. Banfan? I don't know how to say that. Smell of the day is fur. I would say it would be, yeah. Who are you? Oh, there's nothing special about me. I just guard the gate. Sometimes I get a bit tired, but it's not a bad job. I like the fresh air from the sea. Tell me about this place, Port Derach. That's Port Derach. I got that, thanks. It's a nice town, even though they're having problems. But it's really nice, honestly. I grew up in the glens, but I like living here too. You tell me about the glens, then. Shadowy Glen is where I grew up. My father has a brewery there. Would you like to visit it? I can mark it on your map, here. Don't be afraid, it's not really very shadowy. I don't know why they call it that. Hmm. I don't know what's up with that, then. Let's... Flower! <laughs> the flower's playing hide-and-seek. I bet that's a very slow game. Let's go into Port Dara. Um... Look at the well. But the... It used to be public, but it was privatized and sold. Maybe... This... Mayor... Penglog, or... Lord Urzen is, um... Who I should talk to about the foreclosure. Doors stuck. 
but it's the town hall. Okay. Mushrooms. The mushroom believes that the right to the city is a very interesting concept worthy of the city. Mushrooms can be so... Th believes that the right to the city. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see. A cat? Catnip fish number. Hmm. Smell of the day is pilchard. I don't know what that means. Feel free to let me know. So, you're catnip. I am catnip fish number. Port as most renowned fishmonger. I sell every kind of fish imaginable, from haptic haddock to coaxial cod, from erotic eel to am amorous anchovies. Okay, not sure I want to eat those. Would you like sarcastic fringe hand? Perhaps a temperate bass. Bass, rather, not bass. I play guitar, don't judge me. Or how about an annoying clownfish? I've got them all and more. I'll pass, thank you. Tell me about this market. Ah, uh, it could be better, not that the quality of my fish has decreased, or that the good people of Port Era have given up the exquisite pleasures of seafood, but with the crisis and all that, most of them simply can't afford fish. There used to be a time when people around here ate fish twice a week, but now not anymore. What crisis? Also, catfish, apparently. <laughs> what a perverted notion. Ha! That is a joke, and I get it. Island of the Moon, right. There's no finer place in all the lands of dream. Fresh air, tasty fish, rolling green hills, what more can one want from life? Are you in any debt? I've never borrowed anything. Cats don't borrow things. It's not in our name. No, you just fucking steal it. And then you sit on the person's chest and look at them all intimidating like while they sleep. Jellification. Could you use your help with something if you have the time? I'm looking for a jellification potion. Sadly, I have neither a recipe nor any alchemical equipment. But... If I could get such potion, I could create something magnificent which you would share. That could be useful. I'm going to explain. Okay. There's going to be a lot of talking in this one. Hello, Boren Iron Hand. I am Boren, son of Nain. In the old days, I was called Iron Hand, though few use that name now. I sell these knickknacks. Mostly, I exchange them for other things since we have so little money now. It's a life. Where's your home? I was born and raised in a faraway land, sometimes called Arda. The Grey Mountains were my home, in the far north beyond Merkwood. Ah, I would sing of it, but there are no words in your language, and few now speak. Hujdul. Hujdul? I don't know. Kuzdul. Speak my language. <laughs> There was great beauty in that land and dignity before the tourists and the filmmakers and the factories. What do you think of the Isle of the Moon, Boren Iron Hand? It is not a bad place, though now there is much suffering and fear. In some ways it reminds me of my youth. That's a bit depressing. What do you think of the market? Dara was never rich, but life was never desperate. At least not in the years that I've spent here, though bad times have come before. It's not easy for shopkeepers and merchants to survive. Interesting. I can back up here and look at... Mayor Penglong's financial measures have for forced the merchant to shut down. That's a shame. An elf selling vegetables. With a pumpkin! It is actually the day after Halloween right now. And I'll try to post it today so that will still be true. It's Muhaha the Evil Pumpkin. And it's... <laughs> has no personality. It used to be a manager. Ha. My Govanan Traveler? I don't speak your language, I'm afraid. Who are you? I am Anarya, daughter of Isilia and Orinar. I sell fruits and vegetables in the market, and I'm also an excellent guitar player. Is that you playing now? Because that is quite good. My family has lived here as long as anyone can remember. Though many of them spent many years traveling the seas. The sea holds a special meaning to my people, you know. One that goes back to the oldest days of our memory. 
I have heard that it is the same with humans because they were born of the sea. Hmm. What do you think of the market? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yawn. Wow. Sorry about that. Um, I'm running on I think four hours of sleep right now, and it is 9:30 in the evening. So I might pass out partway through this. That'll be fun. It's an adventure. Things have been getting worse all the time, and it's quite worrying. Selection you see here is excellent. There was a time when I had so much more, but food prices on the mainland have become prohibitively high. So high that I haven't been able to get ooklandish ook berries or tyrane <laughs> time in months. I don't understand why this is going on. Surely it's not become more expensive to grow them. Well, tell me about food. Vegetables and fruits are healthy and should be part of everyone's diet. However, it is my firm opinion that most people know very little about how to select and prepare vegetables correctly, and as a result, many children are forced to experience unspeakable horrors at the dinner table. How many children are condemned to a life of hating vegetables? Simply because a misguided parent insists on making them eat broccoli or even cabbage. Even an aubergine can be ruined by an unknowledgeable cook. That's very true. Also, I just noticed that the smell of the day is vitamins. That's, I suppose, fitting. Are you a vegetarian? No. I've recently discovered that certain individuals, who apparently hold my people in high esteem, are utterly convinced that we keep to the peculiar dogma of the plant eaters. This is, of course, quite ludicrous. While we do enjoy our fruits and vegetables, a balanced diet must also include the meat of land animals and fish, and thus we partake in all of these. In fact, some of our greatest heroes were skilled hunters. But that is, uh, actually not accurate. I'm a vegetarian. But if you're not, then... Fuck off, pointy ears. God, I hate you. A mouse! The smell of the day, Rodentia. Your name is Lou McScurry. I'm Lou McScurry. Lou of... I'm Lou. Lou McScurry. Lou of the McScurry family. That's me. I run the inn in the inn. You're a mouse, Lou McScurry. No, I'm a mouse. We're very fast. Have to be. Actually, I'm quite relaxed for a mouse. You should see my cousin, Kevin. Always running and nibbling. No time for a nice pint. Or my other cousin, Brian, got eaten by an eagle. Never comes by anymore. I'm not surprised. Um, if he did, that would actually be more of a problem. What do you think of Port Dara? Nice town. Very nice. My family helped build it. I think. What happened? Um, I'm going to pause the recording because my roommate needs to come in. So, jog along. Right, he's gone. Let's get right back into it. Start my timer again. Uh, I've forgotten where I was in this. I'll start over. Uh, Port Dara. Nice town. Very nice. My family helped found it, I think. Many generations ago. Always lived here. Life is hard now. Not much cheese. I have heard that mice are actually more fond of peanut butter than cheese. The inn in the inn is the small inn. For mice, rats, other rodents, very small humans, sometimes ants. We eat, drink, laugh. Sometimes people stay very long, a whole hour. I'm the innkeeper, I stay here all the time, except at night. I like cheese. You seem somewhat energetic. Maybe a little. Bottles! Vintage Mirabor. Where. where beeswax? I don't want to meet a werebee. Always in the funnest place to eat, drink, and rest in Port Dara. Do I get like a town map? Because it's a bit complex. To navigate this whole town, it's so many people to talk to. Jesus. 